Can we hop on call? Where in the world? Hello? It's crazy. Yo, Sneaky, you're early. Dude. Welcome, boys. What the f- Wait. What's Why up? is Fudge playing from prison? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Eight kills. Is C9 not on stage? I guess maybe they got COVID or some shit? I don't know. Maybe. Did you see they don't have the bot lane? I did see that. Wait, what happened with the... Uh... It's King and Destiny and not not Sven and... Isles? Sven what the Isles? fuck? Oh, you mean... Okay. Like, that doesn't make any sense, right? Like... Are, are King and Destiny playing that good? Wait, I'm is Isles sure. still on the team? I actually am not sure. You're right. He he could potentially be released. I think he is released officially. But they could like, yeah. So Berserker's visa issues is that he literally lost his visa papers, right? <laughs> I I, I heard so. people saying he lost his passport. I don't know. Yeah, it was like his visa was I thought passport his passport. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, That's I think so it, troll. It gets stamped in. That's that's such a fucking human thing to happen. It's like, obviously from the outside, it's like, oh my god, why didn't you just keep it in a safe place and no, but it's like, everyone has lost something that they really shouldn't have lost. Yeah. Like, I think I've lost my birth certificate. Like, I don't know where the fuck that thing is. <laughs> what do you do if you lose a birth certificate? Like, can you get another one? Were you ever even birthed? I think you're just legally dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> from that point on. Actually not. The government like comes and takes your shit. <laughs> Yo, this could be Sedge Top. We're going to have all day to talk about the new patch. I've been, I was initially Perfect. really on the fence because I think it's good for 99% of people, but it's going to be terrible. Not ter terrible is the overstatement. I think it's going to have some pretty negative effects on the highest level of play. <laughs> Where's you know, the slowing best? down the game. <laughs> Where's the best? <laughs> That's good. Wait, where's LS? Why is Max Waldo up there? Hmm. What the fuck? Wait, Maybe LS lost his passport too. You're saying you do like the patch or don't like the patch for competitive? I don't. I don't like how enchanters are becoming like a staple. You, you can see it in high elo solo queue when every game is like, you know, it's like Soraka versus Lulu and, or, or Seraphine. I also really don't like when the game is slow for competitive because like pro players would take that slowness to the extreme you know they'll play if it's like shifted towards like scaling wave clear and slow slow paced gameplay then you're gonna see 20 ga 20 minute games no first blood you know like 35 minutes you said until first blood it's like i think that's gonna be pretty common and drawn out games 40 40 minute games where it's like a foregone conclusion who's gonna win are gonna happen and it's like i like when the game is fast paced and there are a lot of kills it just makes for a better esport i think yeah, I I don't think League has ever been too crazy fast-paced. Um, but I definitely think if the overall effect is slow games, then it, it's technically a bad thing for competitive. Nerf enchanters, dude. Enchanters are so boring. Yeah. I, I would way rather every game include a, like, scrappy high-damage jungler and, like, Leona vs. Nautilus than... You know, like this. It's like both bot lanes are playing with essentially an enchanter support. Tom Kench is the AD carry technically. And like in another game, it's going to be Lucian Nami I'm done, versus I'm done, something done. Lulu. And it's just... Oh, they locked Fiora? Oh, that's good against Dude, Sedge, right? I, I swear Fiora is the most broken champion in the game. Like, I don't care. Really? I, she is so, so OP. I have not had that experience. That's my hot take. I think Fiora is just disturbingly broken. I guess we'll see since this is this is probably Fiora's wet dream. It's playing against uh, a bunch of squishy tanks with like pretty telegraphed CC. Like you kind <laughs> of you will have like Wait, yeah, r run that squishy <laughs> tank thing by me one more time. No, sorry, sorry, squishy tanks. Low damage, low damage tanks. My bad. <laughs> Squishy I think most champs like you playing know, in squishy Fiora, tanks. <laughs> Fiora, Fiora's makes them squishy, though. Mm. Yeah, no, that's actually true. Victor Corky? Oh my god. 
Wow, this is actually the most resident sleeper kind of draft you could possibly see. True, a little bit. I, I mean, like... it depends how Sedge initiation goes. Like, if she can't actually start fights, then yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, who's she starting to fight on that's not going to get Tom 8? Yeah, I mean, if they're balled up, for sure. We haven't talked about Jensen head. yet. I am so happy to see Jensen back in LCS. I think, especially Jensen versus JoJo, this, this is like kind of the guy who took his job for spring. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. True. Yeah, I, I think LCS feels so much better with like Jensen and Bjergsen back. It's so whack yeah. that there was a split without them and without Sneaky Double Lift. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it's like you can't just phase out all the OGs at one time and have anyone care about it. True. This is a this is a matchup I played a, a decent amount in solo queue. It it feels kind of gross on both sides. This is actually went like, as, Oh yeah, that's that's like the new meta actually. It's weird. Chinese uh -huh. Ezreal is going TP and they're doing the blue build. Like they're doing uh Man Immune, Essence Reaver, Surreal this. Just max damage. Is it really the blue build, though? <laughs> I mean, it's like three blue items rushed. Hmm. <clears throat> what, what would you call it, Sneaky? I mean, I don't know if i call it the blue build, because that, that, like, refers to the fucking tank build with, like, uh, Gaunt Yeah, Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Does it, or does it just refer to blue items? Uh -uh. Well, it refers to... Specifically on Ezreal. Spirit of the Lizard Elder Rush, man. Yeah, it's true. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> I'm, I miss those Spirit Stone items. Oh, dude, you know, the oh. funny thing about this Sejuani top is, like, you know Alarim has been playing this shit for legit years with Ignite, and I always thought it was super troll, and now people are just randomly playing it. <laughs> yeah. Why Ignite? She can't kill that. I, I don't know. I mean, Sejuani does negative damage. I guess, like, you with Ignite, you have... Some kill pressure. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. This seems oh, troll seem as like hell. The most real get play. Out of here. Ooh, yikes. Oh. Oh, that, that was close. That felt like a hit because I couldn't see yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it was like phasing through the turret, but now I got blocked. Uh. Wow, no. Senna is getting absolutely destroyed in this matchup. In CS. Yeah, already down twenty four. Jesus. I was waiting for it. Dude, did you guys see the new champ? Nila? Yeah. She looks sick. She Where? does look cool. Where I I'm actually really not like the most uh happy with the way the community sees every champ and then immediately says they're cancer, whether or not they actually are. She seems really just like basic, you know, like I think she has like a spell shield that ignores like one CC. At first, I thought it was like Gwen W, but it's not. Um, or maybe like ignores like one projectile or something. But like, she seems cool. I, I I like her. I like that she's really simple looking. You know, she doesn't have like 50 billion mechanics. Oh, impact uh -oh. is gone. Yeah, he is. He is yeah, wait, can he not ignite out of this? <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah, flash really would have helped him there. He was for sure not dead either way. Is that? It's a melee bot laner? He was 100% out with Flash. You know, I, I think a lot of the community leaks, like I heard it's a melee bot laner and then I read the leaked abilities. I think they're actually fake leaks. Oh. Sneaky, how epic did it feel to be, uh, to have the privilege of looking up at Danny and passing that torch in the video? <laughs> Feels so good, man. <laughs> and then get the, the glass thrown at you. <laughs> did you get that? No. That's pretty funny. The fuck? They, they, they actually threw glass at you? It's not glass. It was like fucking <laughs> rubber. Did any of it get in your eyes? Why did I even ask that question? Like, <laughs> yeah, did they throw real glass shards at you? <laughs> yeah, they, they were going to do knives, but they decided glass was safer. <laughs> oh, shit. Is he... Oh, the flash? Spire's just going ham on Jensen. Oh! Oh. Inspired almost Durability patch. How long on that stun, though? Oh, 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 oh. oh! Nothing, nothing. Limp dick. One thing I, I always had trouble understanding about 
Senna TK is like one of the reasons why it's so strong is like if the enemy AD carry ever like falls behind the curve of the game and, and you do too, like both bot lanes can't really farm that much, like 10 CS per minute farming, it's so much better for you. Cause like your the Tom Kench farm hardly matters at all, but like having an Ezreal who's like like it's eleven minutes and he's like eighty farm, that feels terrible for the Ezreal and really good for the Senna Tom Kench. So I think like the win condition for Ezreal Karma going TP is like push and have perfect farm and like never miss a single point of XP, never miss a single point of of, of like gold. Cause now it, it doesn't. It feels like look Ezreal's ahead of Senna, 500 gold, 500 gold, but he's up 80 fucking five CS technically. Even though obviously that's not how it works. It just, it just feels really bad. Mm -hmm. I think EG is actually in trouble this game. I'm really confused about Inspired's Kindle gem purchase here. What it doing? That that does not go into anything Bami Cinder goes into, I can tell you that much. What that gym doing? How do you know, man? A lucky guess. Hmm. Do you perhaps play Trundle? I have never. Wait, he's mm -hmm. also doing W Max with Tank Trundle. Maybe that he's seems rushing. Strange. I was about to say, is he rushing Spirit Visage? But that seems terrible this game. No, I mean, you you always get your jungle item. Like, upgrade your Bamia first. I think, yeah. But then delaying it by 800 gold seems horrendous. Like, it must have just been a mistake, right? Like, no one's going to do that on purpose. Yeah, I don't know. Or he, like. He had the components in 800 gold and. And, like, you can't really turn them into anything. Yeah. So he's like, I'll just get a Kindle gem. Ha ha. But. I, I can't imagine you would ever feel 10 haste on Trundle. Like, your no, players I mean, are 25 I, I don't seconds think it's CD. Good. Yeah. I mean, so far the game is going really well for C9. They're two drags in. It sucks that they lost mid turret, but I don't think it really matters that much. Legendary but one why? kill, 18 minute game. Yeah. So much action. Buggers. I mean, that, even before the durability patch, if you have these champs in the game, that game's still looking like this. It's just champions that are picked, I'm yeah. yeah. But but those go hand in hand. The meta decides what champions are good. If the if like if mid lane matchup was if it was incentivized for you to play like Nautilus versus Leona, and that sets up really well for mid to play a dive champ like Akali. And then the, the counter to Akali is like, try to survive with a control mage or like match it with like Silas or Aurelia. Then, then the game looks totally different. Just like the cascade of like fucking what's good and what you pick early. And then and then somebody is gonna have to fill out the comp. It's like, oh, well, we have a front to back comp. Guess I need to play Victor. And then JoJo is like, yep, guess I need to play Corky against Victor. Uh huh. The game I mean, so I, I think slow. part of it too could be the fact that like the turrets are so much stronger early that it's actually way harder to dive. Yeah. Which is like one of the big things you do with like stronger mid laner earlier, right? It's like you push mid and then you go and dive a side lane. But if dives are actually so risky to the point where you're just like killing yourself trying them, then yeah, that actually does incentivize like the scaling mids a lot more. Yeah. I noticed that at the beginning, but not so much anymore. Ever since the oh my god, oh, big rocket! Oh god, I think C9's I'm fucked. C nine is fucked. This looks really cursed for C nine. Oh, oh, Ooh, oh really? they're actually gonna all just walk away. They're just gonna walk away. Oh, but lose a turret. The, the Sejuani all got blocked by something. I think the Senna E made that hard for EG. Like they couldn't really see where people were. Yeah, it was definitely a good use of it. Oh, this this part of the game really sucks for Senna because she's really starved on XP and it's it's starting to catch up because you're always you're never farming by yourself, so it just is gonna keep two levels permanently unless they win a fight. Actually, now Ezreal is really strong. Three levels. Three levels. Jesus. Holy. Yeah, it's moly. so important when you play Senna, Tom Kent, or like any sort of melee champ to to just focus on your own XP. Um, I think it's. I think it's Ezreal's time now to shine. Another cannon down the drain. What do you guys think about the new player camera angle? 
It's like oh. not as centered. It's off on the side. Yeah, you're right. He's fine. I like it. Yeah, straight on's not usually anyone's best best angle, you know, like kind of side profile looks better, so they're trying to make the players look better. Yeah, I like it. I recently switched to side angle on my cam, but not because of anything like that. It was just because I have this window behind me that was way too bright during the day. Oh. Uh, but yeah. I do kind of like it. I mean, I have the fucking straight on angle, and I, I should probably change it, to be honest. Yeah, all the you best, should try all, it. All the top streamers don't do that angle. The top streamers, a legendary side angle. Oh, only Moist oh. Critical does it, man. Oh. Check it out. Oh, steal. The and most casual steal. Walk Dude, up and eat it. I Yo, feel like Jojo Blabber actually Go has wow, no job in this game as Diego, especially with the Borg. It... Are you telling me nobody dies again? Hold up. They're getting rocketed up the ass. Uh oh. Though. Dildo. Oh, the oh flash. Oh, God. and Tom Kench is in the game. Actually, How could we dies. forget about Tom Kench? Oh my god. It should be a skill shot. You should dodge the turret. I would love to see like more that would high be level cool, games. Actually. Oh, yeah, that would Wait. be very cool. Dude, that was kind of the thing we were talking about with Baron Sneaky. Like, they should actually put more like mechanics into yeah. the PVE, so oh, you can actually no outplay it. Oh, he, oh, oh, Blabber dies! Wow. Oh, ah, uh, Blabber made the mistake of trying to kill somebody. Oh, Wait, he died to oh, Landry. That was oh, wow. the most delayed lead injury death ever. No, no, no it, it was Victor. All like he was just standing in it for fun or what? I mean, Victor was like on the tier one, and Trundle died at Pixel. Yeah, it it was. That's just so far. There. Oh wait, focusing Tom catch? This feels really bad. Oh my bad. god! Oh my god! This feels really bad. Oh my god! What? Uh, wait, what? wait, Destiny just went in. in. Yeah. Uh oh, here comes Fudge. Okay. This Thanos. Oh, he's oom. He's oom. Danny went for the hero play, and it didn't work out. Jesus. Nah, you, you, you know the the only. Weakness Bjora has is that she goes boom. That's funny. Uh, I, I think, unironically, Fiora is one of the best people to put blue buff on in your team. Because, <laughs> like, I, if you, it, it's going to sound troll, I get that, but, like, I think it's real. This bastard has a thousand and ninety five mana, and you think that she's going to oom? Okay, just give it up. Yeah, her abilities cost a lot, and she doesn't really have any mana regen. Perfect. She does have a little bit of haste. 25 well. seconds on Baron. I wonder if C9 is actually going to make it in time. It seems really hard. No, I think they're going to have to give this drag. 15 seconds out of base. They definitely don't have to give. I want to see Inspired die again. Yeah, just the Victor roll is just on him. He like gets out of it and then he walks back. Oh, in. he's just—he's taking a little bath in the Victor all. He's trolling hard. Yeah. Wow, that last one actually zaps him too. Wow, the whole game looks so different there if he doesn't die. I, it looks like a Baron angle for for um, EG since they kill in enemy jungler. Defense, that Victor skin alt is pretty subtle. Ah, the skin I see. Dude, yes. you see the Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's just fucking zapping his ass. I, I think he was trying to like, I don't know, fucking, he thought he was dead, so he moved back in. He's like, ah, whatever, I'm fucked. And he didn't die, he's like, oh shit. I don't think anybody would play it like that. Yeah, I'm dead, I'm just gonna give it to Victor. Whatever. Well, no, <laughs> like the next tick or whatever. Mm. I, I think that's pretty reasonable. Nope. Okay. <laughs> well, good, I can good, tell you that good discussion there was not the invisible. I don't even know what skin this is. Is it the Haunted or the, the High Noon? I don't know. I can't I feel tell. Like you guys are so on point with the skins. I fucking never pay attention to what skins are like cool or like the best ones. Really? I'm, I just like am so unaware of like the broken skins. I gotta start because it actually does matter. Yeah. I just pick whatever one looks the coolest, splash art wise. I think in game. Oh, Fiora so only has a third oh. mana. Look, she's gonna go oom. Oh. 
Didn't have enough mana to survive. That's not JJ ah. King. JJ King. He's the he's the rank one uh, Fiora on Chinese Super Server. Oh, like the crazy Fiora. Yeah, the one who procs four vitals in like 0.1 seconds, faster Damn. than I. Faster Last. than the speed You're of light. <laughs> You blink and you're instantly furious. <laughs> Faster than than your monitor can refresh. At 244 oh. hertz. Jesus. So I was thinking like maybe to balance the game between like knocks up, knock ups and stuns and roots and stuff, that they should just remove all that shit, and then rebalance the game so that Leona like you know how Leona scales like trash because like you can never get your full combo off past laning phase. Like you go in on the jungler and he'll always be able to mash a dash or a flash rune ability before you're getting like full comboed. If he has like any runes whatsoever, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's kind of silly, you know. Like, why is Leona's CC chain? Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, they yeah. got his flash and the Tommy. Oh, and Fudge shows up kind of late to the party. I, this is so bad for C9. I think TK not having eat. Oh, it's looking ugly. Fudge gets blue. Oh, Fudge gets blue. Fudge gets it's blue over. They win. They, they win. win. Oh my God. They win. He's so powerful. This is actually. But like C9 if, is if just giving them so much internal. space. They're just going to burn soul. the soul. Oh! Oh my god, Santa stole it? Are you fucking serious? Oh wait, what did she steal it with? They kind of just get mur- Oh no, blabber flash into the wall. That's unlucky. Oh my god. Yeah, wait, how did Santa get it? Did she- Oh my oh, god. Thanos! Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Thanos! Wait a second. <laughs> what the- what fuck did Yo, I just what? see? Huh? What? what the fuck was that? Dude, it's Fiora, bro. It's this champion's buff. so broken, man. It's, it's, it's blue buff. And that, any any top player could have done that play with blue buff. Yeah, that's, so that's, hard true, that's true. <laughs> nah, dude, Fiora's so broken. <laughs> She's so OP. Oh. Wow, what the I... fuck? I, I want to see the steal. Like, I think she queued after R. Oh no, it's the W. <laughs> wow, it's the <laughs> Well, what the fuck? Oh, do you think he ulted there to get the souls from the dragon? That was pretty nice. Uh, yeah, that was one genius. Combo. Yo, Fudge gets outplayed here so hard by Danny and still fails. Look, his, his W, nothing. Yeah. Danny flashes over. His E on his Q right here, so Fudge doesn't get the reset. Dude, so the JoJo TP oh, out though. is so funny, is by the way. HP? He flash Gore Drinkered four people. Oh my god. Yo, Danny's thumbs upping as he's flash. <laughs> what? As you TPing out, yeah. Jojo? <laughs> I mean, Jojo thought the fight was over, man. It's obvious. It's all like from anyone's outside perspective, Fudge is dead there. Like, he should have died. Have you seen Fiora, bro? This champion is actually immortal. I, I feel like everyone <sighs> would stay to kill there and not TP yes. out early. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Like, I mean, was... he started the TP after she got the fat gore drinker, by the way, like... Yeah. Uh, he was not paying attention at all. That's She looks so up. dead, to be fair. Yeah, she did. I mean, yeah, she did look Danny's dead, Danny's but... teammates coming to help him actually fucked him over there. Because if it's just 1v1, I'm fairly sure he's gonna be fine to win that. Yeah. The massive fucking, like, steal off 4 was too huge. Oh. God, that was wild. Yo, go going back to what you are saying about the tenacity, though, like, I've definitely felt similarly like i think they should get rid of legend tenacity yeah like unflinching I, but like th they do also need a solution to just like pure stun locks right because there is a lot of fucking cc in the game like it's, it's actually then wouldn't impossible you just to play rebalance melee champs. all those stuns like there is so much cc in the game it's just limited right now to knockups because they're just totally ignoring like like it's limited to like nautilus oh. horn oh Yeah! Oh, shit, man, no one is ever dying. This is true durability patch. No, oh, fudge. Fudge. that's yeah? unfortunate, Fudge. Uh, what Why is Destiny not eating his ass? Eat his ass! He's Eat his fucking... ass! Wait, can... If Fiora repost, does it stop the death stance damage? Is that what I just saw? I think so. Before he died? Huh, that's kind of nutty. Uh, I don't... Can Fiora repost ignite damage, too? It reposts all, I think all she damage. Just I'm pretty sure you can repost an entire ignite. Like if they ignite you during your pause, you just don't get it. But like, yeah. what about a tick of the? Because like that's what we're talking. It's like a dot. 
either way. Yeah, it, I, I it, think it, it stops like all, all damage. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. You go like immune. That you is pretty strong. It. They're just going to take this honorable Ooh, flip. King. Blabber's not going to be here in time. Hmm. But oh, uh, Rudge is straight up frontlining, by the way. Oh my I don't god, think that's that's one piece. I don't think Fiora is a tank. I thought she was the most OP champ in the game. Why can't she, she is, walk but like... Five? <laughs> she's coming pretty close, I don't know. Yeah. Wait, Ezreal has a Prowler Claw, what do you think about that? Is it, is, isn't it better just to go... Because this build, usually they go Dustblade. God, this fucking troll. Yeah, it's Dustblade all the time, every time. How much uh, haste does Prowler's Claw give? Is it the same? Probably the same, yeah. Like 15 but then he's, so. he's just 15 missing 15 on 20. 20. Huh? Yeah, yeah. He's just he, 132 he, stacks. He gets pen, yeah. flat pen instead of the the giga haste per myth per legendary. Why doesn't King have a rapid fire? By the way, I feel like he's really griefing building a fucking cleaver here instead of rapid fire. Yeah, I agree. But honestly, Senna can build any which way, and it almost doesn't matter. Wow, this this entire game is gonna come down to this Baron 50-50. I think the fact that King is supposed to be half the back line and he's three levels down it's just like you can't make any sort of plays that would fuck you over in xp and i think he, he he's just been three levels down since the last time we talked about it oh jesus they can't even they're walk actually up they're getting poked so they're hard getting, by corky it's crazy yeah they're just taking it man oh Ooh, my Israel. god king is eating them uh, just give it. Just give it. Just give it. If I was C9, I call to just give. Like, this is not winnable. You're just gonna lose it, and you're gonna get ace, and then you just lose the game. Just give it. Just give it. Oh my god. So troll. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Fudge. Oh fudge. Uh oh. Does he die? No. Oh. Yep. Yeah. He's oh, dead. he does. Wait. Destiny didn't eat him? Yeah, Destiny didn't think he was going to die there. King kind of wow, died off. that's kind of embarrassing. You're playing Tom Kench, dude. You have one job. It's eating your carry. One goddamn gerb. Literally one gerb. Well, nah, man, pleasure. but like if, if if Fudge had anybody on his team with a with a pulse, this would be the freest game. <laughs> oh, as well Wait, to be in, here? man. What's happening? What? They're actually gonna uh oh, here comes Karma! Oh, he should have AoE kill? shielded. He should have Mantra E'd there. Oh, Jensen is fucking doomed oh, here. Oh god, he gets tagged. Wait, why did Blabber ult there? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Wait, Jensen? Oh, Jensen is kind of turbo smurfing. Oh! Almost. Smurfing so hard all the way to the grave. He bought enough time so that there's not really a big punish for this huge fight for EG like they, they they're 3v2 on the map but like there's no good waves to go to well, yeah the bot lane's a actually fucking useless here for C9 I stream froze same yeah same I think we're all same thin. oh my god <laughs> that wow. rocket the big one dude the trundle pillar into the corky poke is actually pretty nasty yeah Man, I, I swear if King just has a rapid fire here, like, he, he's doing half of JoJo's health when he walks up in missile range. Yeah, he's fucking worthless right now. Damn, what a crazy play by Fudge. And then, at, honestly, Destiny just totally fucked up by not eating him. Actually, Victor like, ult was in there, too, blasting. Yeah. That's it, that's always such a wait, bad Destiny's feeling. Wait, Destiny's so troll, man. The no ult? He was I right think, next I to him, he and he just didn't need. I think he just miscalculated that the death stance would finish him. Or like, it was Ezra ulti, actually, but like, yeah, he, he had some time. I mean, it, either way, man, like, you, you he can go back in with that fat ass Tom shield if you eat him there. That's true. That's that true. That was a pretty fucking huge mistake. That's actually something I think something they actually clean him up, he eats him. I, I don't think a lot of people think about that. Like, I didn't even think about that. Like, you can keep somebody going in by just giving him that giant shield. Like,. No one is, no one is really doing damage to that guy when he comes back out. Infernal Soul feels almost inconsequential these days. I've not seen Infernal Soul being very useful. 
Really? It's like... In a lot of games, I would actually rather have the move speed from Cloud. <laughs> the damage feels so meaningless, because like, the game is so slow. The damage is not really changing like how fast people die, but like, Cloud... Or not Cloud. Ocean Soul is fucking broken now. Because you're getting so I, much I, more value out of it. I pretty much always thought that like Infernal was second worst, Ocean's worst. Oh, dude, I don't think Ocean's worst at all. Especially not now. Maybe people... with the Grievous nerfs it's better, but I don't know. I've yeah, they... never really Actually, cared about Ocean Soul. Grievous since, is... like, I think on release it was super OP, then they giga nerfed it, and since then it's been really whatever. Yeah, agreed. But I don't know, like, well, I guess Baron said. It's, since durability update, I haven't actually seen that many souls for whatever reason. Yeah. I mean, I, I think with durability update and Grievous nerfs, like, Ocean could be better. I haven't seen it a whole lot. It but... technically would be a lot more valuable, right? Yeah. Because you're not going to die instantly. Perfect. Or, in theory, maybe. But, Perfect. man, I feel like if King was better, this C9 would actually just insta win this game. He, he seems really bad at Senna. He is not playing very well. Like, put, put a, an RFC in a Cerildas this game, and he's actually just straight up 1v9ing the team. Cerildas? <laughs> he rushed Umbral, so... He needs a Mythic, for sure. I don't think Cerildas is an item on Senna. You mean yeah, to say that? No, oh my god! Oh, oh, like, it's some kind of armor pen. GG. Uh, oh. just got one piece Wait, from a screen away. Wait, what the fuck did Dinshin die to, huh? Quirky's a big one, man. Really? He just Yeah, he just got Saudi percented. I'll have to check it if the game ends here. I didn't see it. I was thinking about Cerildas. Fuck you, Medias. Can they win a 4v5? Oh. No, Fudge's shit got fucked up there. They flashed away from the ult. Oh, oh Destiny ate him, please. Uh, this seems completely over. It is GG. Yeah, totally over. Oh, Destiny goes in, dies. And he goes out. And... Yeah. Oh, oh my we god. got crit. What the fuck? 20%. Wow, King really making Senna look balanced this game. He played pretty bad. He had so many souls too, dude. He had like a hundred... 30 souls when I looked earlier. He's probably like at least 160 by now. He's farming damage. And he's farming KDA. He is. Right, I'm gonna pull back and check the victor. I'm gonna see Jensen get exploded. Yeah. Alright, he's chilling. He got hit by a rocket. He's half HP. Oh. Big one. Oh my god. He just fucking dies from half, like right before the redemption came down. Oh, that's a blower. Yeah. That's crazy. Corky is just one of those Holy champs. Holy shit, he actually... <laughs> he it. just gets popped. He has a Banshees too, what the fuck? Yeah. Coming to us straight from the mid lane, we've I don't got know. JoJo Fuck, Piano. Just try stuff, we people heard like. a bit about how you felt with this matchup against Jensen on Twitter, but can we tell, or can you tell us rather, your deep feelings? Because this story goes back to the beginning of the season when there were talk about you both. Yeah, I mean, I heard EG wanted Jensen, so I was kind of like, I'm, I'm way better than this guy because I versed this guy in solo queue a lot. So I was like, wait, this is who you want to pick up. So I mean, it's fun to verse him again, um, but it is his first game back, so I'll cut him some slack. He played pretty well. Um, until until he died, but until then, I mean, he played pretty well. Yeah. It took a long time for some people to die because the games do feel a bit differently coming through. What is that like, having to read these situations and when you are able to secure the kills or not? Um, I mean, I don't know. The game became so much more slow-paced after the change, but I mean, I think we just picked scaling champs. We outscaled them, so that was kind of our plan. Um, I don't really like the change too much myself, but... We're adopting right now, so yeah. We're a really good team, and I'm really confident in my team. So I think we're much better, too, and I don't know. I don't think there's really any pressure. I think if we just play how we did, um, we'll be fine. Confidence is strong. Great to hear from you, JoJo. Welcome back to the Easy LCS dubs. Arena. <laughs> Wait, yo, did you guys watch Players? <laughs> <laughs> I saw, like, half of the first one. I was going to watch more just to get a true judgment. I couldn't tell.
I think double. Wait, his watch real it. name is Philip too. What'd you say? Players, the documentary thing, or the mockumentary. So I really wanted to like it, and I think they did nail a lot of like, like a lot of the stuff that they depict is actually real. You know, like essentially gaming houses being like dirty frat houses where everyone is just like doing scuff shit and getting wasted and like just like doing dumb shit like dumb like a uh, hooligan type like fucking like uh college kid frat house type shit but a lot of the jokes to me they just weren't funny like i i, I actually just cringed a lot and i didn't really i didn't really think it was good but it was a i was i tried to give it a chance so i watched two episodes wasn't you for me you watched two oh wait you didn't finish the whole thing no i i couldn't i couldn't bring myself to keep watching Mm. I'm gonna try to finish it to give my 16 real ju judgment on it because yeah I mean yeah, like yeah. the first one was just whatever yeah I haven't actually watched any of it so I don't have an opinion <clears throat> nice. I think it doesn't help that the, I, I find the main character to be like totally insufferable and like I don't really actually like any of the characters because um, they're all caricatures like there's no there doesn't seem to be a lot of redeeming qualities to like really any of them, um, and I, I like watching shows where the where the main character is like I I want to root for him, I want to cheer for him. Yeah, we need uh -huh. to kill his parents or something to make us you know care about him. I mean, they he yeah, even had a tragic backstory. It's just he's just such an asshole. Like, did you watch the second? The, the first episode doesn't really go into it. It, it. They just said something like he went for his keyboard and his fucking parents like. Called the police on him or something dude he's like such a dick to everybody it's i i can't i couldn't keep watching it why aren't you the cream cheese in this double lift see like i don't think i was ever that fucking annoying <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no you were you were chill <laughs> i mean at least i wasn't that fucking annoying <laughs> <laughs> no i i'm I don't think you're annoying. And they fucking, if it's based off of me and it's supposed to be me and Afro and it's like rush <laughs> hour, then they fucking whitewashed me. Thanks a lot, Hollywood. Yeah, they were targeting you. Literally, they couldn't fucking do me right by putting an Asian actor in. It had to be a white guy. Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. There was Mason a scene what, which made me cringe super hard, uh, which, so like the joke is that Cream Cheese, the main character, his username used to be Nut Milk. Oh, yeah. And then he went on this minutes long like fake interview you know to the camera where he's like i don't know why they made me change my name to cream cheese i thought nut milk was a great name i bet they thought i was talking about you know the kind of nut milk where like any like mimics like jerking a guy off he's like oh but it, you know it's just like nut milk you know like almond milk or oat milk or uh or hemp milk i don't know is hemp, hemp and then he, he just goes on and on and on and the joke is so overplayed like it's like it's oh, they like family guy that, that should that should land in about three seconds, and he took like three minutes to build it up, and it wasn't mm. funny the entire time. And I, I after that, I just I couldn't watch because I was just dying of cringe. <sighs> the people in chat are saying like it's supposed to be cringe humor, but like, but where's the funny? Like, show me where the funny is. I I I think cringe stuff can be funny as fuck, but like that wasn't it. You know, part of it was me thinking, like, this is my initial impression, was, like, I feel like it's not actually meant for us on, on people who, like, know the scene. No, it's definitely not the target audience. Yeah. So but then, do you guys think that's mainstream why I was, like, I'm people sure. want to watch that? I think that's what their goal is when they were making the show. It's, like, to try to, like, get more people interested who don't necessarily play league or know anything about it yeah i feel like the people that are watching it are supposed to be confused if it's real or not what and not know for sure that it's like a joke in, in all points oh okay, okay. That, that was my guess after watching it and being like this seems weird i didn't think of it that way actually and i could totally see what you're saying because a lot of people in my chat are like is this real is this real and i'm like yeah Wow, like you know, obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make fun of someone for not knowing and not following the fucking scene for ten years, but it's, it's interesting because it does feel real. It like, but because yeah. we live through it, it's, it's like, 
you know, it feels so artificial, but that's interesting. I didn't. Lucian Nami versus Zeri Yumi. Which uh, Lucian Nami OP? shit stomps Zeri Yumi, but yeah. Zeri Yumi scales like crazy. <clears throat> crazy. Xin Zhao is surprising to me. I he got buffed a little bit. I actually haven't played him personally. Oh, but... you should try him. I think he's really strong. Really, I think he's really really strong. Yeah, oh, that's good news. I I love playing Xin Zhao, but man, those nerfs like before his buffs felt so bad. Yeah, I mean he he was good, and then he would turn to shit and got replaced by like Viego and Lee Sin, and I think now he's back to being good. I think he, weirdly enough, like, he plays really well with an Enchanter. I don't know how, well, like, it might feel bad to play against Lulu, but if you have Lulu, he's pretty fucking good. Oh, yeah. I'm, it, even before Winston Zhao was really popular, right? Like, people would play Zin with, like, Karma mid was a really big combo or some kind of yeah. Enchanter mid. Yeah. It definitely gives champs like Nami and Yumi and whatever, like, a good champ to play off of. Fucking hate playing against Zin Zhao, man. 80 carries. Just get fucked over. Draft started at like 2.38. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I thought my podcast ended kind of late, but I guess it didn't. Okay. What? What? Can we do that like two more times? That would be cool. Chunky. Wow. That was a nice trade from Lucian Nami. Dude. Lucian I, Nami I... feels like bullshit when you play it. <laughs> or play yeah. against it. Sometimes. Yeah. I just don't see why they, these champs Ooh. don't have a synced up recall like Zyrocon. That's true. They I really that. holy fuck. Wait, are, are we synced? I think Stinky might be ahead. Dude, Johnson's Lucian is fucking ass cheeks. I really <laughs> don't like what they've been doing to Zeri. Like, you know, they buffed the fuck out of her right, and they made her right click actually deal damage, but then they fucking nerfed it again, and now the scaling on it's so troll. Oh. It's a chunk, I guess. The, like, it literally gets 1% or less a rank. Or, or, sorry, a level. So, like, at level 1, it does 1% of your max HP on magic damage. Do you know how fucking small that is? Well, on top of the base damage, but yeah. Yeah, but then it's like 2% or less level 2. 3%. And then it goes up. So, like, basically, yeah, I, the, the ability is one shot you. No, like the ability is worthless until like way later, but you have to use it. It's just such a weird feeling. Hmm. I, I feel like it should actually do damage, but like be slower to charge or something. Like be a meaningful ability on the right click. Because the way it yeah. is now, like her only good thing about her right now is like her W going through a wall and critting your ass. It does so much damage. And then she just tickles you the rest of the way until you're fed, and then she just kills you. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I definitely get trauma playing against Zarya. It's a fucking awful experience. Yeah. I don't know. Zarya. I, I do like, like how a... she's not as fast anymore during her all. Like that seems to be a good change. Yeah, that's good. Zarya's just a hyper carry. You know, she's she scales like crazy. Her early game is is awful. Um... Yeah, I just think she like. Like imagine any other short range AD carry, right? Like that's what she is, basically. Because her Q doesn't do damage forever. Like when you get in range of the short range, they do damage. Like every other champ, right? Like say you let a Vayne free hit you. Like she, she, she's not even short range, but she would do damage. Kaisa, short range. She does damage when you're close. Samira, you get close, she does a lot of damage. It's very short range. Yeah. For right click, it's very short. Yeah, but like she's no. not meant. Her right click's not like her main thing. Her thing is like she's like an Ezreal. Uh, she does dog shit damage early game, and that's for sure. Um, but like, I I think they went really extreme on both ends. Like she scales, she scales crazy, and her early game is awful. But maybe to to make her feel better for the Zeri players and to play against her, they should squash how shit how broken she is late game and and you know make her her early game actually do some damage because i think that's what you're saying is like you don't like that she's she can't do damage yeah. early on you could be the best zeri player in the world you're not going to do damage yeah that feels boring to play as well because whenever i play her i know that the best play is just to farm
You know, I, I shouldn't go for trades. In fact, like hitting the opponent, it, it, it almost feels like I'm, I'm like baiting myself to play wrong. Yeah, pretty much. Like I, I'm like starting winning the trade. I'm like, oh my god, I'm winning the trade. I can keep. It. Oh, never mind. Nope, I lose that. <laughs> did Jose just smite that? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure oh. he did it to just upgrade his smite. I see. It That's... seemed pretty fucking questionable with the crab spawning in a second, but whatever. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't even get it. Uh... He doesn't get the. Oh, he does! He or does he? What the fuck? That was the most fucking stylish fadeaway I've ever seen. Is that really worth it? To ever let it go to risk like that? Yeah. I don't know. Dude, I, I've been watching a lot of, like, jungle VODs and shit, and, like, a lot of people do that shit on their clears, and it feels so sus. Just, like, they, they literally, like, go camp to camp and let the patients go to, like, zero as the dot finishes it. I hate playing Zero Yumi, and I would not want to play it in competitive for this exact reason. I hate being a liability to the team for so long, and then telling my team, like, just wait, the payoff is coming, you know? But, like, the payoff is coming in 10 minutes. That's after FlyQuest takes every turret and every drag for, for the next 10 minutes. And, cool, now we have the Yumi. Like, we probably have a 60% chance of winning the next fight, but if the 40% chance procs, then we just immediately lose the game. I hate yeah. that. I, I'm actually so uncomfortable, like, even in Champions queue setting, saying, like, we we need to first pick Zeri, because I don't want to play against it. And I definitely, when I play it, I feel like it's just up to the enemy bot lane to, like, play well, and then I'm kind of just useless for a while. Yep. I As jungle, I absolutely hate getting that shit on my team too. Yumi specifically, like I I actually permaban Yumi every game because I don't want to play with or against it. <laughs> yeah, it really warps the game a lot. Um, I have noticed though that the best, the best Zeri players seem to rush Zerker Greaves and this guy, Dixay, this guy. He this didn't, guy. I think it was, I think this it was a pretty guy. good mistake. I, I think, I think if you're, if you're going to play a really terribly weak early game AD carry, um, Waiting for you to rush your first mythic item fucking sucks. I started to just rush tier two boots and it's been feeling quite good. I mean, she's she's somewhat similar to Yasuo, right? Where like you just need your Q cooldown to get to a certain yeah. point. Oh, oh a Blaze Olive getting Olive caught out on Victor? Wow. Again. Flashes? Some Why things flash never there? change. Why like, would flash? I, I don't know. I, I, like, Blaze Olive always gets caught and does, like, the dumbest shit while he gets caught. Like, he always just, like, randomly blows stopwatch or flash, knowing 100% that you'll never live that in a million years. And it's just, like, I don't understand why his teammates are not telling him how to, like, fucking fix that problem. Yeah. Why is it always on Victor, man? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a Blaze of Victor is a fucking the menace to his own menace. team. Yeah, it, 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 when I see stuff like that, it makes me think that the person like you is used to playing champs with more mobility. Like if you play LeBlanc or like Ari or Azir or some shit every game, where you can like you know position in a way that like you can get away if they jump on you, and then you go to playing someone who's like so much less mobile, you will probably just position worse. But a Blaze Olive only plays Corky and Victor. Like he doesn't. He, the only champ with a lot more mobility than Victor is is just Corky. But like I don't know if he's like particularly used to playing with it. I yeah, just I don't think know. It's, it's, oh! That was definitely an illegal trinket to try like, to if clear. If he dies, if he dies to a Zero Flash Shuffle, or like gets caught out by like a fucking flank by. Uh a flank by Jose, th then, yeah, I, I just, I want that to happen to him, actually. Like, I, I want to see fucking bad things happen to a Blaze, so he, like, learns some shit off that. Bad things. Some I want dirty to be things. punished. Or GA or something. Yeah. I saw, um... Oh, oh my goodness. He's fine. He's fine. I, I, I saw a Showmaker interview. Uh, translated, transcribed, and he and he said that with this new patch, it's going to be really common to see. Uh, you know, pro player games have always been slower than solo queue, but on this patch specifically, like you're going to see a lot of games just 20 minutes with one kill or no kills, and it happened twice in a row so far. Yeah. Yep. 
both these games are just... I, th I think this patch kind of... It's going to make Pro Play take a couple steps back before they can, like, adjust it properly. Yeah. Definitely not a good change for Pro Play. For the viewers. Pro probably not fun to play either. I think it's only fun to play if, like, you're an old school type of player. Like, I think Afro, for example, is, like, one of the players that would thrive in this kind of game. Because now, like, the way that you play the map matters way more than the way that you play every individual, like, skirmish or every individual interaction in lane. Perfect. When the game is slow and there's not kills, like, all that matters is, like, numbers. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my uh, god. A Afro actually loves this kind of game, for sure. If, if Stixay wasn't level 9 to level 11, that would have killed. Like, I was Wait. surprised... That Why is he so that? under leveled? Uh, he's just been getting fucked in lane. <laughs> huh. That hard though? Oh, Ooh. that W. Do you max W second now on Zeri? Yeah. I think he max fucking I, I believe so. Shieldblade gives From you 280 HP and and 20 AD when you have full build. It's a lot. Yeah, let me and, and obviously the shield is like well, even more. Check out Zeri's health at max. Oh, she has 2450. That's pretty much 2500. Let me check. Yeah, then, oh. then adding the shield bow HP on top of that is... What? Yeah, oh my more. god, if Johnson... Ooh. Johnson cancel does Gale auto there, that's kill. Lucian is 2341. Wait, this is already sold. That's early as fuck. I didn't even notice. I mean, that's what happens when you play against Zeri, you know? Like, you, you can't fucking contest on bot side. I mean, team knows that. Jose's pretty smart. He, here, here, this 50-50 is so advantageous for FlyQuest. Like, like getting the Baron low and letting FlyQuest get in that 50-50, where 50% 50 chance you win the game and 50% chance you just have to wait five more minutes. It's like, it's terrible for Golden Guardians. Like, I think they Baron? should... Drag, sorry. Dragan. Like, that's why Jose is trying to keep it leashed. Like, they, they should just focus on, on getting that flip. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. oh, wow, they got him. All of dies instantly. The son of John is maybe alive. Nope, he died. Leandry's killed again? Yeah, what the fuck? My last it's forever burst it, again. Burst it, burst it, burst it. Oh, it's resetting. Ooh. Oh, so amazing by Takui. Early Mountain job. Soul is so fucking VG, man. Oh, actually, they do have Zeri. Look at these shields he's getting. Oh, uh -oh. it's so... Uh-oh. They have the counter. Not the bear, man. Oh. Wow. Does Yumi win this? Nope. That was close. Wow, I... After after witnessing this game, I would never want to first pick Zeri with something like Lucian and Nami open, like, ever in a million years. The, the game is just unplayable for them. It does seem like one of the combos you would not want to play this into. Like yeah, you pick one of the weakest early game lanes against literally the best bot lane combo. Yeah. yeah. You need to you need to have some sort of crazy support pick like Nautilus and, and just try fighting bot. I, I don't know. That's a dozen for me. Zeri, Yumi, Nautilus, try lane? No, no, just don't pick Yumi. Oh. Oh my god, Stixay's ult got... Did you see that? Did it miss? He pressed R when Camille was in the middle of her R, uh... so she didn't get the buff. That's awkward. That's so unlucky, actually. Oh, wait, because... if you don't hit anyone with Zeri's R, you don't get the speed at yep. all? Nope. Yep. I didn't know and that. Huh. It, it's one of the worst fucking feelings in the world when you, like, ult and they flash at the same time or they, like, barely get out of range and, like, you are so useless if you don't get that the That is buff. actually quite huge. She just got a react flash Zeri's R. And she's useless. <laughs> Does it have a wind up? Like, can you do that reliably or is it too fast? It'd no, be like it's, a prediction. It's <laughs> yeah, it's a prediction. Yeah, and I guess I guess what I mean by that about about this is like Zeri Yumi, obviously, you can't win any fights bot side, so I think Golden Guardians played a very like by the book game. Like, okay, we give up the first two drags. But then they give up Herald and then they give up the third drag, and now the enemy team is two minutes away from winning the game, so you have to fight there. And it it was the, the game was never in your hands. There was never a time where they could do anything proactive. Yeah, they're just snowballing too hard. Why? I feel like you could maybe bridge the gap if you have like a super strong mid jungle combo. Yeah, but a Blaze all can... just fucking killed himself when bot lane was missing. Like, I just it's just so 
Any any mistake yeah, is gonna I, I don't be think magnified because it's extreme. Yo, where's the singed mid at? That, that shit is so OP. Oh, I've Predator, seen that. Predator, Ghost Flash, Singe. Just actually disgusting. I've seen <laughs> that. I really hope they bring back Jin's ult permis glowing if you hit someone. I thought that shit was so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Johnson is going ape shit. And he's, oh, he's going to die to Collector again. Ult. Nice. Or he's going to die to... Oh, Wait. here's Victor. Is there you mean? Oh, Udyr's actually completely out of mana. Oh? Oh. Zeri time? Shit. Oh. Dude, no, it's, nope. it's Yumi. It's Yumi. Win this, Yumi win this, win this, win this, win this. Win this. And oh. oh. Damn, this looks like a fun game for Golden Guardians. Yeah, I'm going to reserve judgment about the patch until I see more. But... My initial thoughts about Slow Face League is this ain't that fun to see. LPL games still pretty fast. But LPL games will always be fast. That's just what they do. How do you find the balance though? Actually no, I think it's like you have to throw away the value in like uh like how, how meaningful kills and deaths are so that people don't care about dying and killing, right? Or maybe don't, don't care about dying, rather. I have a hot take about TSM. What's up? Let's hear it. I think that TSM will just barely miss Worlds this split. I think they're actually going to be like top five team, straight up. They are fucking good. Uh, like... I heard scrims are going well, and I think Mia is actually really talented. I think I think Maple's gonna be really good. Who's Mia? Like Maple specifically, like mid is so broken. Mid is especially broken in in competitive play, um, as compared to like solo queue. But like Maple and Mia are actually like what the team needed. Like two strong points to play through. Um, like I think they're gonna be higher impact to the, to the game than like Spica and Tactical. Actually, do we know These where Mia is from? Like, what is? History is? I mean, he was on complexity was on like ESP, 10 it. years ago. Uh, 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 yeah, wrong guy. Uh, what about this one? <laughs> oh. He's from Latin America, I think, and he's really good. He's very good. Is he Korean or what is he? Oh, yeah, yeah he's Korean, imported. Ah. Uh -huh. How's his English? Very good. How's his age? Not, not fluent, not fluent, but conversational. Hmm. He was on Kong Du Monster, some team called Scars, KT Rolser for a little bit, APK Prince, Soul Hey One Prince for a little bit, and then Estro Esports, and then TSM. What the fuck? Way too dank. Oh my god. Way too dank. Is this TSM's trailer? What the fuck? Oh my Dude, god. Am all I they needed was die? air horns there. They needed air horns. <laughs> <laughs> well, boom, boom, let's flare. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Luciano, do you take Nami away? If they first pick Lucian like this? No, 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 it's cringe. It's too cringe. Some people have an answer to it. Let me see tacticals. Maybe Callista, maybe Jin. I actually, I think Jin Karma can beat Lucian Nami for sure. You can win. Karma mm -hmm. hits every Q, you can win. I played this magic with Mia a lot in, in Champions Key. Maybe he's actually telling Tactical right now. Just fucking locking in, dude. I learned from literally the best player in the entire world. Rumble! Hold up. Oh, wait, they gave Wow, when he just Eight picks kills. Rumble like that, is that allowed? Is that allowed? Is that allowed? It's not legal. One thing I love about early picking Lucian Nami is... It's like... If you lose, it's because your team didn't pick enough scaling. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, y y the whole comp gets warped by you, which I really like. It's like, now you have to pick a, a, a fucking engaged top. Or like, you know, you have to pick like certain stuff. Or it's mm -hmm. just troll. It like forces your comp to be good. I think TSM's comp is looking really traditional. Pretty solid. 
really bot lane is completely based on how many skill shots they hit. I've always felt like FBI and who here or not. Is Jarvan the hardest to hit with skill shots? Jarvan's gonna go tank, yeah. Or Gore. Maybe Gore if he gets <coughs> ahead early. Well, like, is yeah, I don't know. Like, pick? The, like if Jarvan and Rumble is it is a combo, but like. Typically, you play against things that cannot get out of the Jarvan ult, yeah. which everyone except Nami can easily get out. That seems a little he, weird here. He picked it specifically to camp bot lane. Like, Jarvan Karma is just, like, really strong ganking setup. I mean... You I, can never dash in against Karma, right? Because you're always afraid that Karma will just take you on that, like, bluff and then just root you. And, like, if you get rooted and Jarvan's in flash range, you're dead. Yeah. So it's, it does make it really scary. Maybe only for early, if that's their plan. Does it work though? I don't know. Uh, top crab time. Okay. What okay. The... Huh? Is that Mia's kind of nervous. Mia's kind of nervous. I gotta say, that oh, was that fuck? was terrible. Wait. Oh my god. Even dead. Oh, oh no! No, they're dead. Abadage is dead. Maple Street's dead. Wait. They flash in. And they didn't show the mid kill. Oh, he got killed. Oh. That was a really good time to pan the camera away. I didn't, I didn't want to see how that one ended. That was a dual cam angle. The crowd okay. be busted. FBI is, FBI is making me feel good about the Lucian pick right now. In what His way? spacing is great. Oh. Like he's doing like E into like max range auto, you know, like Johnson does E and then he hits creeps or sometimes you like E too deep, you know, and then and then you're like, you're kind of uh, too far for this fight. Uh, he, he did overextend himself a second ago and he lost both sums, but we didn't get to oh, see that's it. True. Actually, you're right. I didn't see yeah. it. If I can Because there was the a camera. very good, very good <laughs> observing work happening. Yep. Wow, that farm that flash was... was yeah, that was so stuff. risky to go for. Surprised it even hit. Yeah. No, see loser. Oh. oh. That cute did a lot of damage. He did have E to finish him though if it didn't kill. He just showed bot lane, but whatever. Miss it. Like the the replay. Observer diff. Okay, did he, did he I like this dive. I oh. really do like this dive. And this one, I, I'll see if, let's see if you guys are onto some shit with this whole power oh, being broken thing. Yep. Oh. And yep. he's gone. Well, that could have easily been better. Just be good tank a little bit. Kill game. At least first blood didn't happen uh, 12 minutes from now. Yeah, decently spicy. Speak is actually making this Jarvan. Look pretty good. It's just straight up invading Wukong, beating his ass 1v1. He's up 1100 gold on Wukong. That is pretty powerful stuff. Hmm. But they're giving Herald. I'm surprised because Rumble is. You know. He's yeah, maybe this private. could be a response to Rumble using his ult earlier. Yeah. And on the flip side, like, what feels bad is if Speaker can't get these camps. I think you really should be proactive when you think the enemy team is on Herald by just immediately walking into the enemy jungle and taking everything there. Because, like, it feels like diving bot is, like, not that consistent. Oh, wow, that was Ooh. sick of you. That was bad. Nash. Diving bot feels bad, and I think doing drag feels even worse. Like, this never has felt like a good trade, because one team gets Herald and one team gets a 25-minute payoff. Like, I think you, you always take camps here, or if you die, you can dive, you should dive. Yeah, I... I agree, because I think taking camps is so good here, because the thing is, you can do dragon right after the camps, right? Like, if Wukong comes to this side of the map to try to stop the dragon, you're okay with that. You just back up, and he has no job. Yeah. He just walks into a cleared out jungle. Yeah, and, and that actually pressures him to use Herald poorly, too, because it's like, oh, he just took all my camps. Like, what is there to do? Do I just, like, go fucking do, like, back to the base? Like, buy a dagger or some shit? Like... At that point, there's literally no job for the enemy jungler except to use Herald, and like, I don't know, it, it never feels good to be in that spot. I'm, I'm sad that Tisa missed that chance, but oh well. Yeah, it looks like Spika froze the mid wave there for Maple instead of doing the invade. 
I would have fucking just insta cleared that shit. Push the next one, walk in the jungle, tell Azir to come with me. Pretty sure that's just better. Giga Chad. Oh, it's not even Tell about like come Giga Chad or selfish or anything. I think it's just legit a better play. Massive get more, the other team loses more. Mios would have slapped his mid laner's ass and said, <laughs> come on, boy, let's go to the jungle. <laughs> we got places to be. Instead, speak it as the, yeah, yes, sir, here's your wave, sir. Okay, I won't oh. invade. I'll just, I'll do the dragon. I'll get us a soul. <laughs> Hello. I'll start the soul, I'm sorry. You'll be a good boy, I promise. Oh, we're seeing the collector in action here. Oh, Ooh, that ult by Abadage was insane. Crisp. I don't even think if he gets shuffled there, he dies. Absolutely amazing ult. Oh, now he has no more charges. Maybe Jarvan likes to blow his flash. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, does he get range? Oh. One more combo. I. I guess he's, he's gone, dead. He's I guess Abadag is dead. Damn. Well, that oh, wait, wait. Like... Somehow Karma just dies during that. Shit. Yeah. What? How the hell did that happen? What in tarnation? Mia is having a little bit of nerves, it seems, in this first game. Yeah, he's not playing great. My prospect, he's not panning out on game one. That's fine. A lot of people have had bad game ones. True? Question mark? Wait. Some days. Oh my god, fucked. some days just walking in the package like it's King versus Corky package. Or, oh wait, it's Rumble through this time. <laughs> ah, same thing. Uh, no, actually, I feel bad. Because there's no way you should compare that to. Rumble ulti is not even one fifth as good as Quirky Package. <laughs> not Bro. even a fifth, really? Okay, okay, it's it's I'll like, it like almost half. as good. Yeah. It's I didn't actually catch that in the game at the time, but people in chat were saying King literally yeah. just walked on Package and killed himself in the soul I, fight. I didn't catch it either. It's the one where he stole it too. Like I think he did it twice. Like you know when he stole with the W, he died to package like immediately after because he walked. King is oh, like really? one of the most nervous players I ever seen. Like I played against him in solo queue, he's like he's like normal, you know, he's like pretty chill. But then when he when I see him play real games, I'm just like, it's fucking a choking hazard bot lane. <laughs> There's some people just like that. Name him, call him out. Who's like the it. biggest choker? Mia right now is actually losing his mind. <laughs> I mean, that's literally how I've been identifying scripts. It's like, fucking, a lot of skill shots you can't react to because you don't know exactly where they're landing. Like, you can sometimes see a general area, but it's like, you have to be able to know each skill shot individually. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. His oh, Abadake's ult's up. coming up in it's two so seconds. Close. Oh, it's oh, up. Okay. Nice. He's out. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Huh? Hold up. Wow. Like, because... What? What? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, oh my God. this is getting... Something getting really so creepy weird. is going on. What the fuck? That was almost like a disaster somehow. So so it looked like Abadage ulted out of the Jarvan ult, so Spika Flash followed him, yeah. but he actually got caught in it. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Holy shit. Now, the so the thing you're saying about skill shots, though, I feel like... Yeah, just like ha having like the mental imagery of like what it's going to look like when they shoot their skill shot like where it's going and then you're already like planning to dodge it or if you see that it's not doing what you predicted like you do something else yeah it definitely makes sense yeah exactly could yeah, he jukes I, I, and he should react to mia predicting his juke by turning his character around again but he doesn't and that just shows me his reaction time is slow because like most pro players nowadays can do that every single time and like some of skill shots, I agree with, with Sneaky. Like they are not reactable. Like for example, I think Nautilus Hook is only reactable with dashes and flashes. Like you can't react with Nautilus Hook based on movement alone. But I think there are a lot of instances where like having slightly, like just being able to react, like just minimizes the chance that you get hit by stuff. And like you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot yeah, of skill shots yeah. that are like that. I actually played against Speaker's Jarvan like three days ago and got hard fucked. But like I didn't realize until until that game that you cannot Gale Force out of Jarvanol. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh he's... shit, Abadog oh. is griefing. Abadog is griefing. Is he wow, for it? he no, gets he to live. lives there. that? Okay, that was illegal activities. Huh. I, I tried to. I, tried, I literally like so died fine. twelve times that game, and like four or five of my deaths, I tried to Gale Force in reaction to Jarvanolt. It doesn't work. Oh, like on the instance it's just not that he's possible. using it. Yeah, it's or even like just like trapped in like it. preemptively, you know? Like I I know he's like spamming R on me, and so I let it go off. But like I'm already Gale Forcing during it. It doesn't work. You always stay in the fucking ult. It's yeah. actually so cringe. Yeah, that that is weird. Oh my god. Oh? Hooni uh, Hooni is psycho. Unlucky. Wow. Okay. Had to. You know what feels bad is like the whole game they've been fucking over Abadage starting with the gank and then like Hooni tries to participate in like <laughs> the fu in, in the game and it's just like no, you're just feeding him. Go back to your lane. <laughs> Get back in top lane, bitch. Yeah, it's like, you're not helping, bro. You're making it worse, like. <laughs> what would you say in game if that happened? Would you say, nice try? Indeed. Indeed. Close, man. So close. <laughs> oh, close. Fuck. Lucian, no get force. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no 30 second cooldown ult. <laughs> Dude, peep that. He's going Banshee second. I feel like... This game, yeah, I understand double AP, but like Banshees just has no value this game, right? Like, wait, where are you? What are you gonna Banshees that's gonna change anything? Ezreal's Q? Like a harpoon? I don't even think Banshees helps you on Jarvan's EQ because it like instantly breaks, then you get knocked up, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, I don't know. I don't really get the you, yeah. Yeah. Maple's having an amazing first game, though. He's, he's playing really well. Okay, someday's mega and he's in a really good spot. Unwarded. Oh, do oh. they see him? They do, they do. They're gonna clear the flank now. Oh. See, loser goes in. Oh no, I cursed Maple! Edge. Oh, this oh. looks doomed for 100 Thieves. No, oh, they get actually. a trade. But 100 Thieves gets a drag. Huh. That's what you call that, a heist. That went a lot better than I thought it would for. How it was looking. Oh wow, they're gonna go Baron. That is clever, that is clever. Cause you're either gonna get kills as they face check you or you're actually gonna get it. Oh, don't start it now, too late. Oh, dude, no. I they think this just... looks very questionable. This is so bad, they should've just they played for the pick. Especially the fact out. that they hit the plant to see them, yeah. like kind of tipped them off that you're doing this. Look at how recklessly 100 Thieves is walking in. That could've easily have been oh, two shit. free kills. Oh shit! It's okay, dead. they are gonna get it. They're gonna they get it. They just get it. Yeah, they just get it. And, and they kill closer. Okay. So they get a kill in Baron. They lose support top laner. I think it's I think it's like barely worth it, but the risk was immense. Spika was very low HP on the Baron, and it was essentially a 50/50 smite off between the junglers. But that position was you you could have taken a guarantee, which. I think that would have been a better play. I, I I think it was kind of Hunter Thieves' mistake to not have a blue orb. Like Ari sitting on Sweeper here is kind of grief, in my opinion. Like if he switched to blue orb, Wukong would not have had to use. Like look how closer plays this because they don't have vision on Baron. Like he yeah. has to, he doesn't see the Baron's HP and he's getting zoned off, so he has to like W in yeah. poorly just to see the health. But whereas yeah. if they had a blue orb, he could play this so much slower, and I'm pretty sure they just kill him yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Wow, that was ult, a though. Yeah, closer did kind of just flash in for fun without ult or W. Yeah, yep. he did. Not the finest play. How is this item on his ear? I was trying to look it up. The monarch embrace. Is it real? Oh. Ooh. Makes you tanky. Yeah, I, I don't know. It could be a thing like Bork, where like just a random burn, it's gonna get value. Yeah, I've been seeing this item look pretty solid in recent times. I think times. his mentality is really just like getting Zonia's or getting Demonic Embrace. Like getting some defensive item is going to be good because the enemy team's all short range. But 
I don't know if Demonic is better than Zonia's. Because this game, it feels like Zonia's would be crazy. Triple, triple AD, you got Collector on Lucian. Um, there's a lot of abilities that you can use Zonia's on reaction to. But... Yeah. I don't know, he probably knows something that we don't, or... It could be a lot of damage. Actually just worse. I haven't seen the value yeah. on it. It's 4% for ranged, over 4. Max health. Apparently so Chovy's been doing this build, two masks. Oh really? Leandry's demonic. Mm -hmm. I mean... Yeah, it is double shred. Great synergy between the items. And if you go death cap third, then every item you get goes on your head. Oh. oh! Wait. Yeah. I like that, I like that. Instant flash. Yeah. speaker has been really on point. He's always at the right place at the right time. The order is given. How does Hundred Thieves play these fights? They kind of need like an RE charm to land or something. Yeah, it feels like Nar is honestly so weak in fi team fights with this build that he would he would lose one v one to Ezreal. Like if they were face to face, Ezreal would just shit on him in three Qs. So I don't know. It 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 doesn't look good for their five v five. I think Tism's outscaled pretty hard. Is Nar actually a good champion? That's what I always ask. Is Nara a good champion or is he just good in lane? I always wonder. 80 carry top lane. I don't know, like... A lot of games he just doesn't really seem to do anything. He's just really all or nothing. Nara's ulti is not one of those like, oh, I got one with my ulti. It's like, you either killed the entire enemy team solo on the team fight by yourself, or you got kited, they flashed it, and you die for free. Like, I don't think there's like a fight where you contribute like an average amount as Nar. Maybe though. Hmm. I think we need to I see think... some Prowler Claw on Nar. Nar. That's why I think he's missing. Just needs Aww. to Mega Nar just fucking jump in on your ass. Oh okay, that's God. Ari's TP. Slam you against the wall. Oh wait. Oh, tactical! Oh, oh my oh. God, tactical oh got owned. He knew Ari was in that bush too, dude. God. They literally saw him TP there. What the fuck that was, was that? That was so troll. Tactical no reaction time. Late as fuck. Oh e. my God, bro. That's not even a reaction time. That's just the like, why are you there? It's both. He's dude. like, he's like last through, man. In the in the line of lemmings. Oh. 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 Huge Nar show doing literally nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is fucked. Hunter wow. Thieves, go, go away. Nobody else Leave dies. Him. What the hell? Oh, shit, dude. I mean, seriously, though, TSM should not lose any more 5v5s after this. Like, they almost won a 4v5 with their 80 carry dead from the start. Like, that is. If that doesn't show you you win every single team fight, then I don't know what does. Bonk. That was so weird looking. That charm lasts a year, holy shit. Yeah, no tenacity. What is he doing not going unflinching legend tenacity on Ezreal, dude? <laughs> Such a good setup. No, Sneaky, actually the, the it was meta in China is the the Essence Reaver Man Immune build with first strike. That's why it's blue too, because because first strike's blue. I've been doing that. Right up. Just uh, test I mean, I just know. testing it. Trying yeah, it. just testing. You get a lot of gold on first strike, for sure. Feels good. What legend rune does Ezreal go? Is it life steal? Yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise you have zero. <laughs> it's yeah. actually zero. It's so weird. Until you get like ravenous hydra or some shit, like you're just you're just relying on red buffs and like fruits. <laughs> yeah. What about Bork Ezreal? Is that a thing? Seems like it'd be decent. That I haven't seen it. Actually, would be really good. I kind of forgot about fuck? Bork. Someday should should loop around with his team here. This is this is looking pretty good, actually. Although uh, there's a lot of good ass haste items now. That kind of yeah make yeah. It there's hard. too many good items. I think like Ravenous Hydra is just is also like so yeah, strong. Yeah, I think it's insane. 
Oh my god, wow. that that bubble. That bubble was actually nuts. God oh. damn. Wait, some days in? Oh. The Nar show? Dude. Wow. Wow, 100 Thieves? I mean, Actable again, dude. Just kinda he has Flash, out. and he just gets hit by the fucking charm. These charms are so good. Abu Dhabi is just hitting every one. He gets fucking dead. He's actually hitting yeah. every single charm, bro. He's playing really well for how fucking focused and behind he got this game. Yeah, he's 60 CS down getting perma camped and he's playing like this. Abu Dhabi is actually really impressive. Right I, mean, I, I, I will say there's very little threat for him to like position for, for charms, right? Like TSM's comp has yeah. almost no ability to catch. Like there's no Nautilus hook. There's no... Yeah, yeah. That's true. This bubble timing was great. Like, actually so nice. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know, man. I, I think that's just, that's really just on Maple for. That's the same thing that happened in Tactical earlier, where like, the whole team is making a line. It's like a Congo line going one direction. And the last guy, the, the guy who's the laggiest behind, needs to play extra safe. Like, fucking horror movie, the guy in the back always gets targeted. Like, <laughs> you kind of need to know where you stand relative to your teammates. And I think Maple took like a greedy path trying to catch up and ended up getting cut off. Zero damage, Omega lol. Low zero. <laughs> Why did he do nothing? But Lucian did Collector and Cyril does. He says you're both pretty. Oh my God. Both looking juicy. Okay, but like, let's be real sneaky. If you look at these three items and you and it's Essence Hero versus Collector, I think Essence Hero is better. Essence versus Collector? Yeah. Well, I mean, okay, the problem is just that like, sometimes you don't really get the auto. Then your Essence loses Giga value. Obviously the haste is still fine, but. I think the haste is great. And when you do get the auto, it hurts like fucking shit because you have a chain proc. I don't know. I I think it's fine. Like I used to do essence all the time, but like I don't know, Collector yeah. has felt randomly good. Okay, okay, but you gotta try you gotta try still this for me. And, and, just try it, just try it. Wait, what, second? <laughs> yes, just try it, just try it. Cyril does and I don't and think essence it'd be bad, yeah. I mean I, I think that'd be fine. Oh, wasn't that like I don't know, a year or two ago, like the the Lucian build when he was being played mid a lot? With yeah. Jizzman? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I remember I heard Jensen doing it. Yeah, it's we, good. we were like hella criticizing every Lucian because like half them weren't doing it. The surreal does. Yeah, dude, some people were doing like the man immune build, and I was like so confused. Yeah, that was the ablaze all if you did man immune Borg. Man immune Borg Lucian. Oh, Jesus fucking puke. Golden Guardians, bro. What is going on with that team? I'm pretty sure they won that game. Disgusting. Jealous. Rather die than DSM's be a witness to that. Place speed run. You know, I I feel like TSM has been playing fine. It's just every team fight Maple gets caught by something. Like the, the the other one too, he got caught by Nami Wave and he died instantly on drag. This last time he gets caught by Ari Charm and Nami Wave. Like it it is kind of crazy because if he had Zonia's instead of Demonic Embrace, a lot of these times I think he's well. He had well, actually the last time he did have Zonia's. Watch, yeah. Yeah, I mean, one, one thing I think is worth noting is like I would say Hunter Thieves has a much stronger comp, like especially for team fighting, right? Like uh, TSM's comp has like zero heart CC, which I think's kind of troll. Yeah, Jarvan is like the glue, man. He has all the CC. Yeah, but know. like that's not that's nothing on its own, right? Like everyone <laughs> yeah. can get out of his all, like yeah, easy comboing. Agree. It's actually just so hard to win fights, and you can't lock anyone down. Yeah. That's what I meant by TSM's comp is so traditional. It's like, we have the damage dealers. They do pure damage, nothing else. We have the tank. He's the fucking, we have the enchanter. Like, it, it's like everyone has like one role, but like, I feel like these days, a lot of good comps just have like a lot of everything. Like they just pick champs that do it all. Wukong, he's damage, he's engaged. He's also like pretty reliable CC. Like Ari, he's a mobile mage with CC, but can also like do front to back. Like a lot of the champs seem to be able to do everything in the current meta, and I feel like TSM, they had a weird read on what was the counter to 100 Thieves' first three picks. Wait, TSM also has zero tenacity on their team. Like, they don't have a single Merc Dread. 
yeah. into like a pretty. I'm not gonna say like a super I mean, heavy who, CC comp, but like. Who's gonna buy Mercreds though? Speaker? Huh? Who's buying yeah. Mercreds though? Speaker? I mean, Good. maybe. Kind of only him. I feel like it's a waste if they CC his ass. Like bubble and charm and stuff hitting him. Actually, rumble, go too, but like he's still gonna die. It's like triple AD. I think Merc or er, Tabby and Sorcerer's value is like pretty good too. Yeah. What the I fuck? Mean, FBI's I, I, build just turned so ugly. Yeah, yeah I, I agree though. Like it, it, it is one of those comps where like you kind of want both, right? But yeah. it, you know, it's the fact that you have the CC to punish when they don't build Merc Treads. Oh my god! Wait, it oh what? what? Yo. Dude, he's stick saying this one so hard. He just Dude, hasn't flashed all he game. He fucking trolled that, did he not? Dude, you're he has him tilted. So hard not to call it the dub lift, and I appreciate that. <laughs> it might just be a thing between me and Sneaky, because we had this skirmish in stick say where he died like six times in a row without flashing, and it was just obvious griefing. We we're like, this guy's a fucking clown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah Tackle's playing quite interestingly this game. I don't think. So who had a good game? Speaker had a good game. Huni griefed mid. There, there wasn't a single player who was like blameless on TSM except for Jarvan, I would say. Maple got caught a bunch. Mia got I caught a FBI bunch. I think FBI had a good game. Okay, well, yeah. Right. Scoop! Whoa! Look at me. Oh, I, Penta chill! Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if it was truly like individual mistakes. I mean, I, I, I think, think MIA had a pretty, was. for Mia, had a pretty poor game. Yeah. But like I was trying Who to think about like really TSM's position in this game, they were gonna win, remember? Yeah, they were and totally then, gonna win. And then Tactical got caught by the Ari that they knew was in there. Yeah. That was mind blowing stuff. Yeah. The fact that they knew that she was there too. Yeah. And everyone was tiptoeing around that bush. Like yeah, Rumble was but... shooting ease yeah, into he's that bush. Shooting ease in it. He's like, yo, they're in there. What the fuck? Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, I didn't know. It's like what? What are you smoking? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, another answer in the Nami Lucian. Callista Renata. No, this one is ass. I, I play this one all the time. Lucian Nami just shits on them. <laughs> okay. How is TL getting these three on red side? Because <laughs> Immortals thinks Talia. Actually, I tell Talia is good against these champs. It is good. Talia outranges all of the champs, and the rocks are fucking annoying to play against. Talia is pretty broken. I don't know. I, I was spamming her, and then she got nerfed, and I didn't really play her since then. I don't know if she's still good. She feels the same. She's like less what, what oppressive damage. Uh, just less damage overall. The stun is the same, the WCD is the exact same. I, I think before you could like effortlessly kill people with your Q and it felt totally unfair and now it's like she does a fair amount of damage while still having like all the other stuff. I don't know about TF, I'm... Yeah, uh, I'm kind of iffy on that being a good blind pick, but... Maybe Bjergsen is gonna snowball side, hopefully. Wonderful. Oh, it's possible. Soft cringe sauce. Have you guys seen how much armor Wukong gets from his passive? It's like yep. a, a comical amount. And it makes Graves look like a gin. fucking pussy. Victor Talia combo. I don't know. What about TF here? Is that real? <clears throat> mm, I mean, they've got a really strong bot lane they can play through. I don't know. What are they just he hasn't cleanse? looked good in most games, for sure. So we basically uh, um, practiced a lot of bot lane matchups in this meta, and we think that Kalis Tornata is winning against Lucianame. So we prepared that, and with, um, we were like willing to first pick Talia because of the E, how the E works, uh, and both Kalista and Lucian winning versus sort of Lucianami to use the dashes in team fights. Mm -hmm. So we, we want to like really? with the Talia, and then we're just like sort of trading. If if they would take the Kalista and Alta, we would just like handshake the the Lucianami. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, and then of course okay. the question kind of everyone's going to be thinking about lots of changes from models in the off season. The big one obviously being Kenvi. Uh, what should we expect as fans from the models side from Kenvi? 
I mean, Ken is really insane. His hands are insane, and his mechanics are insane. And he's very young, talented, and hungry. So he will be able to show uh, how he is actually better than the, the, the rest of the competition. All right, excited to see him. Smurf, thank you for joining me. Go ahead and watch that game. We'll throw it on back. Yo, time. Freeze's facial expressions are so funny when he's talking. Oh my god, Renato's hitting every Q. Teal loses this now. Or the e, like, they, they can't fucking fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are rockets. Renata has this. Does anyone understand her percentage damage? I've actually never looked at her wiki before. I just for, know for she what? does percentage max HP, right? Oh. On her autos. But like, how does it work? Every single auto does a percentage of their max HP. It's is it's like you hit him once and it puts a stack on him and then if your ally hits him it consumes the stack and you get and you can put up another one. But like oh, if so you just start chain autoing someone. <laughs> yeah, it's similar, but like no cooldown on it. Yeah, I see, I see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, not quite clever. Made. Really uh -oh. clever. Really clever. Wait. Really clever. Two v two kill though. Is it honestly. even a kill? Okay, now it is. Triple flash, literally. That was the effort they had to put Ooh. in to kill him. Yo, what's game time? I, uh, I think I'm behind you guys. What are you at? Which has gotten me in trouble before. Oh, you mad, here's bro? Kimmy with the counter gank. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Double bubble. Triple kill. Triple kill. Ooh. Triple. Oh. But wait, we're not a W. Oh. Renata wow, W Renata is w is such so good. A funny interaction with Callisto, man. Renata W. That you is? can just keep stacking. Oh, yeah. like the, you continue your spears. Just, yeah, that's true. I guess. I mean, that, that, that's initially I think what made it popular. Like the combo was like really about having Callisto go ape shit, and like just having those extra two seconds to keep stacking what a and then snap it at the last second. What the f yeah, that was sick. Oh wait. Yo, I didn't even notice this. Bjergsen TP'd from base to the tier one tower, then ulted. Oh, that they is double global on their ass. Cool, yeah. Is it worth it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Kalista's getting sure. shut down early game. I think it's worth. I mean, Lucian's getting fed. Looks like a fucking waste of resources. <laughs> I mean, it's either that or don't kill the Kalista there. And with the Wait, Bjergsen counter? is playing against the mid laner that he coached. Ooh, oh my god, he's about to show match. him up. Holy fuck. He says, yo, build the injuries on Corky this time, bro. <laughs> no, this is how. This is the only way PoE will not troll build. He has to yeah, play against exactly. someone who shit talks his troll builds. Well, he, he has first So now he's like, oh, I'm playing for real. Victor, is that normal or what? Lost chapter Victor? That is weird. First strike. Oh, dude, that's pretty sus. First strike. The no, rune. First strike it does, it, it's fine, it does, it's fine. It gives gold. It's an inspiration. I don't know. Victor runes are kind of weird. It's, it's usually like, airy or first strike. Yeah, like airy. I, I've seen some comet. Fucking. Uh, this electrocute. Yeah. Phase rush. I, I think phase rush is probably the least, like, slight cringe. I think airy could be slightly cringe. Like, it doesn't scale mm. that well. I mean, I, I think people take Aerie in the harder matchups where, like, Victor can actually win through trading. Like, you see that in Nekorki a lot. Yeah. Um, And then, like, I think if you're in a free lane like TF, first strike makes a lot of sense. Just get what extra the gold. Fuck. Did I just see uh, Talia give over his second blue? Whoa. Man, Power yeah, of Evil really must be cringe. playing insane. He, Power of Evil must be going, like, 15 kills every scrim. That's the only way that that would happen on a team of mine. Like, <laughs> we're... We're showing where I don't. You know. You know. Actually, what the biggest problem with that is, when you're when the mid laner like hugs that side and comes back with blue, you now know where the enemy jungler just was. Like everyone in the game knows where the jungler was. I yeah. and like it oh. feels so bad. He's dead it's as always fuck. been like that. Oh my god! It can be had blue. He wouldn't die there. True. Dude, who's blue buffed if? Again. Well, that sucks. Uh, I remember. One of my favorite plays I made in a competitive game, it was against TSM. I don't know if you were on that one, Peter, but like that was with Hanser, where our bottom lane handed off blue while they were walking back to lane. 
And so then, like, yeah. Jensen went back mid with blue, and I was topside, and I was like, yo, I know Hanser's gonna fucking die to a gank, because they're just gonna call that we handed off blue, and then he did. Uh, and he was probably yeah, so yeah. pissed. Yeah, that's true. What the fuck, team? What are these calls? I actually know Hanser so well. I know that he would go back after the game and watch the replay and be like, wow, their bot lane is so good, and then not, like <laughs> not really learn anything. <laughs> like you know, it's like, Damn, it's like oh well, <laughs> I guess like they just deserve it. Uh, no change whatsoever. <laughs> okay, no play. Hauser is great, but like, the fact that he was a fucking menace. It's funny. He's great. I don't think but I was he's a menace. Team. Yeah, dude. Oh, he was. He was a, sometimes a terrorist. <laughs> is he still playing in an academy? No, I don't think so. Okay. Although if Solo like is coming back to he? LCS, I think we need to see Hanser back. Like some of these top laners who've been playing, who've been starting LCS, like kind of sussy. It's so weird the balance between like feeling like you're passing around the dude that like isn't really going anywhere and like trying out new people. Yeah, exactly. It's just a weird mix. Did you guys bye see bye. that indicator for... Oh. Oh. Actually didn't die. Oh, wow. He just barely didn't get hit in the turret range. Oh. That's a lot of damage. I guess we're just pressing buttons for fun now. Yeah. I don't know why they even tried to kill fucking Genvy there. What's what's PoE going to try to do here? I, I feel like this is absolutely Hero nothing. Hero play. Hero play. No, it, it's not even going to get gold. a flash. He's trying to farm his first strike gold. Oh, yeah, he actually just got a huge Eon Nami there, and that made him a lot of gold. Dude, that Probably was better so than much better mid than pushing mid and taking a plate. <laughs> that was just amazing. It's weird, because actually, like, one of the biggest criticisms of PoE is that he, like, didn't really like to move, and he liked everyone to come to his lane, and so, so he could get ahead. Like, he was a pretty greedy guy. There, like, the right play was to be greedy, so... Maybe yeah, his teammates it, it, was... it, it can feel bad. Like you're saying with your team, where like you're not really necessarily moving first, and then your team's dying, and you're like, oh god, like not a fucking game. Yeah. Like it could just be a buildup over time, where like they're constantly dying to roams, and you're not moving mid. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like, oh my god, if you just follow him, like they can't do this, and then you get you learn wrong. Like yeah, that feels really shitty for sure. I do that eighty carry sometimes, where I'm just like, damn, he's moving for Harold. Uh, fuck, I'll just come late. Like I know it's probably not the right move, but. I'm here to provide moral support. While we <laughs> yeah, the, the, the moral support. <laughs> Dude, I, I know that feel all too well. It's like, I know I shouldn't go to this lane. It's a fucking bad play, but I also know if I don't do it, my teammate's going to be so fucking tilted all game. Yep. What are we hearing, actually? <laughs> That's not even... Zoomer, like, what's the cutoff for Zoomer? Like, how... What is like too young to be there, a zoomer? Yeah, what actually, are they I just realized there is a, like a zoomers name? are probably starting to complain about the the younger generation. Wow, oh. Lost is is making Stixa oh. look like fucking Guma Yushi right now. Oh, in three, ouch! Like at least at least Stixa wasn't like feeding. He was just losing pressure with Zeri against Lucian. This is this is a slaughterhouse. I'm getting cheese though. You know, when you when Team you lose gap. to Lucian Nami, you do feel like you got cheesed. It it doesn't feel fair. Like <laughs> they trade on you, it's like wow, they can just do that. Like zero skill, just dash on me, auto Q, and I I just lose. Yeah, like, it doesn't feel melt. fair. <laughs> Wait, why is Core Guardian this game instead of Electrocute? Is that real? Mm, maybe it's a Callista thing. Oh my maybe God, Han Saba lost a cannon bitch. right there. Yeah, Core just got it with the bubble, didn't he? Okay, but like it's it's not about who got it. It's about who lost it. And I yeah, but like well, well, I, I'm mad. like, why, why does Core even shoot Thank the you. cannon at the bottom? <laughs> it, 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 it had to have been to finish his mandate. No, he needed it. He needed it. Actually, he he legit just yeah. barely bought mandate. No pink ward. And if, if he had money, if he had money left over, it would be pink ward too. That's pretty How true. How do you feel huh? about 16 minutes? No tier one boots on Core. Oh, he's just waiting for his. Dude, it's the already sensor bro. meta. Legit. Right, hold on, my food's here. Oh, well, how, how come Nami's not attaching? Uh, why? Oh, red why? card! Oh. I flashed there? Oh. 
There was never a world there where even if even if it was fucking Reggie blue card, I'm pretty sure he dies. So like, just die. Just fucking die, man. Just fucking die, man. For real, for real. By my calculations, yep, that's a turret. Oh, and that's a turret too. Oh my god, and there's another one. Dude, and this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There is so many turrets in this game. I didn't I didn't realize until now. No, I think they not should the just get rid of turrets. Dude, I think that they should get rid of nexuses. Hmm. I don't even know why the game should be able to end. You could be onto something. No, I, I think it's actually Holy fucking shit, Whippo's fast. Whippo is the fast man. Oh, oh my, my god. goodness! Oh my god! What is happening? He's just running them down. What the fuck is this new Olaf? Wait, flash it! Flash it! Here's where Victor one shots him! Oh, the red card on the tower. That's stylish. Wait, that was a cool kill. I didn't realize what happened until you pointed that out. That was cool. Let's go, Bjergsen. Oh, I'm just saying, man, if if Hansama had Cerildas and not Collector there, he kills so much easier. Like, Perma slowed, and his E would have been back up. <laughs> Funny stuff. Perfect game? Yeah, perfect, yep, perfect game. Perfect game. Damn. Don't fuck it up, TL. No fountain dives, please. Actually, they, they probably heralds. want it. it. It would feel so good for them to just to start it off perfect. Oh game. my god. Alright, dude, st stop picking Gnar. I swear to god, Gnar is such a fucking troll champion. That sucks to start fucking the entire season off. You, you really need good leadership and, like, mentality within the team to just shake that shit off. So easy to get the hope drained out of you that, like, man, we really fucking suck. If you lose like that. Get dicker dockered. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think like what should or could IMT have done that game. It seems a bit odd, like, for bot lane to be playing in a way like their whole strategy of like we're gonna pick a lane into Lucian Nami that's trying to beat them, but then you also pick stuff like Talia, who's not actually strong early game. You pick something like Victor into TF, where like you're guaranteed not going to have any mid pressure, like for the map at least. Yeah. And then also trying to win bot lane with that situation. Like I would think your bot lane's perspective would be like, we're just going to try to knock it fucked. The smartest read that Teal made in draft was they blind picked TF with everything open and they knew POV wouldn't try to do anything but play a control mage in scale. Like, if you're mm. playing Lushinami versus Kalista, like, that's the last thing that you want is they're, they pick TF and your mid laner says, it's okay, I'll just scale. Like, fuck that, man. Play anything else I can we can play through mid with or it's just doomed. And I think that was a great just situational read because a lot of a lot of mid laners would just go silas or you know they would pick something else fucking micro she must be playing diablo immortal yep. are you still playing that trash sneaky i've been playing like a week good wait you played diablo immortal well dude as a social justice warrior i can no longer be your friend bye <laughs> It's it's Alan Mortal is so disgusting, man. I think it is a fun top conversation topic, but like it's got circle tricks so hard, it's like, wow, big evil microtransaction whale farming equal bad. It is, it, but it was funny. Yeah, it, it is, is bad. bad. It's funny. It's funny. It, it's funny because like um, I like one of the funniest things I I saw was Blizzard made a ad a few years ago, like I think it was like only three or four years ago, where they were making fun of microtransaction games and like saying like we'll never do that. Really? Another early morning, huh? Dad, I'm getting wrecked. Can't I buy some stronger units? <sighs> buy units? Son, we don't talk like that in this house. Come with me.
Your grandfather didn't give his life just so his grandson could pay money to be good at something. But, Dad, Grandpa's still alive. And your mother. She wanted to bring you into a world where you'd be judged by your elite skills, not by what you spend. Son, your family's legacy awaits. Cool. It's like, damn, whoever made that commercial must feel kind of shitty now. Maybe they don't oh, work for Blizzard God. though anymore. I assume it's one of those things where like, it's probably not the majority of people at Blizzard. It's just like the higher ups, like the people in charge of the money yeah. and whatnot are I'm the ones who are like forcing the designers into making these like god awful systems. I, I assume that's why a lot of like the longtime devs have left to like go start other companies and shit. So they're just like, fuck this. That's not what I signed up for. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, I'm just too busy posting minion memes in our chat. Oh. I mean, what role is Gamsu playing? Top. I thought he played fucking Overwatch. Nope. But he is top, right? He didn't swap I think he plays he tank. Ah, tank, but of course. He could also be a support player. I'm not sure. We're about to see Gamsu's Winston aim in action. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he actually played Winston in Overwatch? If, if there's nothing, I guess so. like, the, the way you talk about how, like, the things you do influence you as a Eight player, kills. there's no fucking way playing Winston in Overwatch is going to help you do anything in the future. <laughs> Dude, every time XQC plays uh, F FPS games and his aim is terrible, everyone just says Winston name and it's too funny. <laughs> Yo, did you see that fucking clip of XQC where he just like griefs the fuck out of his teammate? <laughs> that was the funniest accident? clip I've so seen. So funny, bro. Like, oh, holy yeah. shit. God. I watched it so many times. I was laughing my ass off. I think there's one in Z. Care, care, care. I'm sitting in the smoke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna molly him then. Okay. okay. I just got mollied. I think they mollied me. Where did your molly hit? I didn't throw it yet. Want me to throw it? Yeah. Okay, I'm blind. They just fucking threw a fucking perfect flash at me. These guys like know right where I'm at. Alright. The, the guy who Jesse. like... Jesse is... Literally his comedic timing is so fucking good. I'm surprised he doesn't stream. Like, cause he's, he's acting. Like, he's... He's playing along, you know, and yeah. it's just perfect. Oh wait, like, the, the, guy, the other guy in the clip is playing along. Yeah, he's like, he's like, they, they just you know right where I'm at. Like he, yeah, no, he. he I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I've never seen the guy before. He said, "I'm gonna molly," and then his molly lands on him. He's like, "Did you throw your molly?" And then he throws a fucking like a troll nade. He's like, "Oh my god, they perfect flashed me." No, yeah, because but his, I mean, his acting is good. That, that's believable yeah. enough that like it could yeah. happen. No, yeah, it, it was it was acting, but it was funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, it was fucking yeah, yeah. hilarious. I want that guy to stream it. I'd watch it. His, he's too funny. <laughs> Ankara or Azir? Huh. Wait, Seraphine Karma bot lane? I just, I just realized that I should play Seraphine against Senatom Kench. That sounds fucking cancerous. Like, you're, Seraphine's you're fun. now... You're not playing against the cancer, now you are the cancer. And I, I think that sounds really good. They're they're buffing Seraphine next patch, which is crazy because I, I see her in like every other game. Really? She's super I, popular. I think she's completely and broken. I mean, uh, really fun and good. Uh, dude, she's 16. Uh, yeah, good Wait. singer, really good singing. Ow. Sneak me. <laughs> oh, what's up? Uh, you saw her swimsuit skin, right? Pretty cool. All right. Um... Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Seraphine is broken though. I think they need to rework her ulti. I don't think it should extend the range through your allies. That's totally moronic. Yeah. They can rebalance every other part of her, but I don't think that when you get engaged on by her teammates, she should be able to ult through her whole team and hit you a screen away. I think that's totally dumb. I don't know, it's, it's a like pretty fucking slow projectile, but yeah. I mean, you're not getting out of that shit if someone's chasing you down. I don't know. It, uh, maybe. Oh. Wait. Ooh, wait. Oh. Wait. He actually slides it? out. 
I think he's dead. Wait, Vincent, oh my god, god. Bio is missing everything. No. Bruh. Vincent's trolling. Oh no. Why? No, he's Vincent's actually w? trolling. He played that so bad. This is legit cursed. Oh! Uh, Alright, GG. That was so free for them. And yeah. River. Or no, River played it fine. Biofrost missed no, his Bob W and then flashed bad. in Miss Q. Yeah. Oh, he well, didn't that... even eat anybody. <laughs> okay. Why didn't he eat someone? What the hell? Man, that. How the hell do you lose that skirmish with your champs against theirs? There's no way. I mean, River played that amazing, and he just got completely fucked over because Bio missed everything. I want to see what Blue did as well, because there's doesn't seem to be any reason why that would that should happen. Blue fucking griefed the hell out of this and doesn't even get punished. <laughs> okay, that flash Blue miss. The way Blue played that is slightly reportable too. What? He just Valkyrie into fucking Diego. Like, <laughs> everyone <laughs> lost their goddamn minds and said, Kill Seraphine! 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 Look at Seraphine! Look at Seraphine! Yep. And then they all River just. River did miss it. his W, which was pretty big. On, I feel like so many people should have just been dead there. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking he could have even, like, Flash followed Karma. Maybe it would have been too much, but. From how it started, uh. Oh. Unlucky. Yeah, unlucky is is the right word. Dude, it would be <clears throat> I'm 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 a little bit curious how Elon Musk like kids are gonna turn out. Yeah, it's probably a lot of pressure growing up like and your dad is just like it the must talk be so of the world. hard having an absolute billionaire dad. Well, I mean I'll lose the sympathy to them because they're totally innocent kids and like they are probably under like a level of scrutiny that is totally unfair just because there is kids. I mean, yeah, they're I, obviously. It, it must be so so hard. <laughs> I, don't I can't imagine that much trouble being that rich. <laughs> you know, I think I would even I would even take the sacrifice to try it out. Like, fuck, I'll, I'll have a billionaire father <laughs> for for a while. Like, I would make that sacrifice. Dude, you're so noble. Damn, you yeah, are really I know, actually I know. a team player. No, I mean, I, I I'm memeing, of course, but like, it, it is. There's probably some degree of just like oh oh big oh. jokes oh I'll do it oh ah. is he dead no oh, oh dang. close Damn. oh contracts is gone now maybe no no nah, he's got help fucking die yeah contracts is dead as fuck oh wait a sec whoa. Maybe we'll get a replay. Is this, this is the most fed is ear that's ever fucking existed. He's like straight 2k gold up on anyone on the enemy team. Let's see it. Backwards are apparently. Did he already ult? ult? Oh, I think he did. From who? Wait, who did it backwards? Dokla. Ah, that was earlier. Oh no, he, he it did good. it to survive. Yeah, he, this earlier ult he was good. I think Senna's ulti came too late here. What the fuck was he looking at? His top lane is getting ganked and he ults that late. I actually, dude, I, I like don't want to use Champion's Q as like the only test of like how good someone is. But every time I play against Neo, he actually plays terrible. Like, I I don't know what's going on with this guy, but he's just having a rough one lately. He doesn't pass the test, the double lift check. I mean, like, there's, like, a test where, like, if you play, like, somewhat well, I, I will, you know, you have some respect, but, like, Neo is actually, uh, it was really disgusting. Maybe you should replace him, get in there and show him how it's done. No, no, no. Are you watching Dignitas play right now? <laughs> you yeah, don't dude, want in on I'm this? <laughs> They're missing in the double lift. I'm sorry, man. How are they expecting to win There's no double hope. <laughs> Wait, you're not going to play with Biofrost? Dude, what the I fuck? I love Vincent, man, but... I don't think there's much hope for the team. But the Dignitas way, man, Dignitas stands for dignity in Latin or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't really know. But we we fight on. Fighting, brother. Fighting. I think most of the names are good. There's just some 
out there troll ones for sure that have existed. Yeah. Back is in, there uh, any like really insane names? It's just like, damn, dude. Like sick or? Yeah, just like that's so fucking cool. I never would have thought of that. That's like the, the best team name. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm a bit of an outsider, but in Valorant, like someone showed me that there's a team called the Guard, and I thought that was cool. Hmm. The it's Guard. Because everything in Valorant kind of seems cooler because Valorant's really popular. Oh. FPX is kind of cool. I agree, but that's actually they're actually a mobile game uh, company. Oh my oh. god! Oh, big jokes! I, I think Dig is about to be a mobile game company. <laughs> what does that even mean? Back to Wild Rift. Back to Wild Rift. Back to Brawl Stars. We need to practice our team fighting. Wait, what if a what if like Brawl Stars did a fucking multi-million dollar ad campaign where they like? Nah, actually, it wouldn't work. Oh my god, you're right. Like pay people to like play their game, <laughs> team fight oh. all together. Oh, he's Holy out. Holy shit. Bio Daddy is out. The package? Let's go! If he what didn't take his hands off the keyboard during that Falk, he's not doing it right. He's yeah. put his hands in the air go, woo! <laughs> no, if he's not saying, woo! Yeah. Oh. Dude, I've seen a lot of Corky plays, but I have not seen somebody use both package and Valkyrie for the damage. <laughs> Usually it's just package. Truly <laughs> revolutionary. I mean, package actually is really good at killing creeps. Like, when you're pushing out a wave by yourself, you like fucking W through all the minions, it does so much. Dude, true. I feel like the Gamsu pickup for Dig is super random. Like, was. Has Gamsu been playing League at all? Like, did they just get him straight out of Overwatch or what? He, like, he was in Academy. He was in Academy? Was he, was he popping off? Uh. Did they not win? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he was playing a lot, and I don't really know hmm. how his performance was. It, it did feel kind of weird, but. I see. Not like I watch Academy or anything. Weird flex. <clears throat> no, I'm just Too cool I'm for very, Academy? Not very Too cool to remember your subject. roots, Sneaky? <clears throat> My roots. Like you were never in Academy getting triple global ultimate your red buff? <clears throat> That's true. That did happen. My red buff, of course. Not my junglers. It's mine. Oh my uh, god, Mr. Inhibitor. Oh, the minions lost their mind. Decided to not actually kill it. Alright, what if you control your lane minions and, like, make them juke shit and target shit? Oh. He's dead! Hello? Hey. That's, this is back. such a fucking sussy spot to be fighting in. Seal. Like, just let them walk through the choke. Why are you running into the choke? I thought I was getting dono walled, sneaky. I was asking no. if um, but well, my mic was my mic was dead. I was asking if you remember. There's a story that media sometimes tells about this bot wave that you really wanted. Uh huh. And you're you're gonna do something very harmful to yourself if you weren't gonna if you didn't get it. Do you remember this? <laughs> I mean, I should say the quote. <laughs> I mean, I think we, I think media said her tell it because I don't. Well, we, we've talked about it before. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to tell. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to tell the story right. Perfect. Let's hear it. Let's hear the story. I'm just surprised you don't remember it, Sneaky. He, he definitely remembers it. We've 100 percent talked about it before. <laughs> I mean, there's like, what, like two fucking <laughs> creep stories. Like, the other one was like. <laughs> You can take my wave minions, but you can't jizz about taking my wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this wave is so huge! Oh, uh, that that one was true. Sixteen. Oh, you can take my wave, just don't jizz about it, dude. <laughs> but like, unironically, like I'm, I'm yeah, actually, it was actually real. It. <laughs> you would say it just to trigger sneaky, or what? No, I mean I'm saying it because I'm getting a fat wave. Like, uh, fuck I yeah, see, XP. 
But he's like, like, don't be happy at my expansion page. <laughs> <laughs> Sensitive much? Jesus. Yeah, it could have been me getting fed. Oh. All right, Dig wins this. No, dude. It, 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 the, the, the the quote was in Korea though. See so here, I'll type I'll type it in our group chat. You'll definitely remember it. <laughs> I, I think I know what you're referencing. The poor fucking audience, man. They can't. You'll never know. Damn, Silji's jersey's looking very different. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. There you go. I don't remember what the game was though. Just some game going to shit. It scream. was like a a string. It, it was when we were like in Korea or something, and it was like just a full week of games where you were getting fucked over <laughs> through like I don't know, just the way they were playing and the way we were playing. Like you were getting fucked off waves so much, and then <laughs> you were going to a wave that someone else was going for, and you're like, you just started so defeated. <laughs> I think it was high going to the wave, and you're like, dude, if I don't get this wave. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. Oh, God. And then I was just laughing so hard. <laughs> give him the wave, oh, man. Give him the wave. man. <laughs> Series. Thank yeah. you very much. I am indeed here with Big Dokes now of CLG. Maybe there is nothing on Paramount. Academy. I don't know. Uh, I thought there was. It's been a little while. You did have a game in spring, I believe, but it's been a few years Yo since you've seen it at this stage. Is this the pick you're taking uh, for the matchup, by the way? Or is this more of a, like, generically good top laner? I mean, you can pick anything into Gamsu and do fine, so... <laughs> <laughs> what the but fuck? it is a good matchup, and you can skill freely, so it's really good. Damn. So with that in mind, of course, pretty Stop clean, talking smack, bro. Game for CLG. Jesus. Uh, looking to kind of the rest of the weekend, how are you feeling about your your next two matchups? That's not here? Jesus, man. That's Doklo. Yeah. Yes. I mean, oh. TSM's uh, yeah, looking sorry. pretty shaky. I mean, he's only going to play, like, Rumble, probably, so... <laughs> I mean, I don't think all the teams are pretty good right now. I think we're pretty underrated, and uh, I think it will be top five and probably top three by the end of the split. Oh! oh. Top three like by the end of the split. You said the you're, you're fucking reaping. You're fucking reaping. CLG top three at the end of the split, I'll eat my shoe. Jesus. I think I'm going to call it here, guys. It's been a uh, great Drink some coaching. I'll see you tomorrow. Throat tea. Okay. Yep. GG's, boys. GG's, Catch guys. Have a great night. Yep. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Bye-bye.